So, our lesson for today is all about fault and the types of fault. Yan, so, pinapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung o, iba't ibang uri ng fault at kung ano yung tinatawag natin na fault. So, fault is a fracture or, so, we can see here the fracture. So, it's a fracture or this discontinuity in a volume of rocks and across which there has been a significant displacement along the fractures as a result of earth movement called earthquake. So we have here uh, examples of fault model. So these are actually uh, fault models. Yan, mga fault model yan. Fault model. These are all fault model. Now, there are three main types of faults. So, merong tatlong pangunahing uri ng fault. Una, yung tinatawag natin na normal fault. Then, another one is the reverse fault. O yung tinatawag natin na thrust fault. And the other one is what we call the strike slip. Strike slip fault. So, those are the three main types of fault. Ito yung tinatawag natin na normal fault. A normal fault occur mainly in areas where the crust is being extended. So, the crust is being extended such as a divergent boundary. Maximum magnitudes along many normal faults are even more limited because Many of them are located along the spreading centers as in Iceland where the thickness of the brittle layer is only about 6 kilometers. Yeah. So the crust is uh, being extended. Ang tinatawag natin na reverse fault. Reverse faults occur in areas where, there, where the crust is being shortened. So makikita natin yung crust dito parang lumiit siya. It's being shortened such as at a convergent boundary. Reverse faults are associated with the most powerful earthquakes, including almost all of those of magnitude 8 or more. Yan, ito sa nangyayari itong reverse fault kung saan nakocompress yung uh, crust. The crust is being compressed. Yan. Parang lumiliit siya. At ito naman yung tinatawag natin na strike slip fault. There's steep structures where the two sides of the fault slip horizontally past each other. So makikita natin. Yan. Nag-move horizontally yung uh, faults. Transform boundaries are a particular type of strike slip fault. Many earthquakes are caused by the movement on faults that have component of both deep slip and strike slip. This is known as the oblique slip. So, yan. So, yun yung tatlong uri ng main. There are three main types. There are three main types of fault. Again, we have the normal fault. We have the reverse fault. And the strike slip fault. Yung strike slip may mga types na yan. But in grade 8, we only uh, discuss about the three main types. The normal, the reverse, and the strike slip. Ano naman yung uh, bahagi ng fault? So makikita natin dito sa ilalim yung tinatawag natin na. Yan sa ilalim yung tinatawag natin na focus. Ang focus ay dyan nag-umpisa ang earthquake. Yan ay nasa ilalim ng lupa about a few kilometers uh, below the ground. That is what we call the focus. Yan, nasa ilalim. Yan ang focus. At yung tinatawag naman natin na epicenter, pagguguhitan natin ito pataas, ang pinakatuktok nito, ang katapat ng focus Yan, sa tuktok in the, uh, uh, sa crust yun ang tinatawag natin na epicenter 
So, yung tinatawag natin na focus, sudden movement generates an earthquake at a point called the focus. This is the location where the earthquake begins or originate. So, yan nag-originate ang earthquake. Yung tinatawag natin na yan, focus. This is usually a few kilometers below the ground. At yung tinatawag naman natin epicenter, that is the point on the Earth's surface that is directly above the focus or the hypocenter. The point where an earthquake or underground explosion originates. The word derives from the new Latin noun epicentrum. Ayan. So pag uh, titignan naman natin epicenter, ito yung point pataas. Ayan. Exactly yung tapat ng focus sa taas, sa tuktok, sa ground, sa crust, yun ang tinatawag natin na epicenter.